Good evening ladies and gentlemen, here we are again inside the Maypin Cemetery. To my left is the Honorable Racy Matthews, Justice of the Peace, uh, Vice President for the UNIA Kingston Chapter. And of course to my right is the legendary Paul the Chosen One Elliot, who have driven over 300 miles all the way from Montego Bay after getting the news that tombs are being desecrated in the Maypin Cemetery and family loved ones are burned and the casket recycle. Big money is being made over here at the Maypin Cemetery. Paul, how are you feeling at this particular time? I could see you well much under the weather. Well, right now I'm not feeling good. Um, knowing the fact that when you pay for a place for your loved one to rest, and you can't find them resting place, and there is no book on file to direct you where your loved ones are resting, that is a call for divine intervention from the church and the state and the government of this country and the mayor and the town clerk of this city. And right now we really need to, you know, take a deep look into it. Honorable Ray matches. I mean, you can understand what the chosen one, Paul Elliott, is going through because you have family members buried over here as well. What is going through your mind now, Honorable Ray matches? Well, I must first of all express my disgust at how the place is kept in a very deplorable condition. When I am looking around, it is as if I am at a dump heap. The place is all littered with garbage left, right and centre. And if we have any dignity for our ancestors, our loved ones, we should make an effort to keep the place clean as the old maxim dictates cleanliness is godliness so what we are seeing here is that we are an ungodly people the way we are keeping the maypen cemetery i have relatives here very close relatives aunts uncles i have a brother here and when i look at the deplorable condition it is as if no one cares anymore for the path people who have passed on and I think I will call on the authorities to make every effort I've seen them done an environmental beach cleanup day involving millions of dollars well we are going to ask the mayor to have a Maypen cemetery cleanup day that we can restore some dignity to those who have passed on as black people we must be able to manage our affairs and Marcus Garvey has said, we must create an egalitarian society, meaning equal rights and justice for all. Enshrined in the Constitution, Chapter 3, is the fundamental rights of freedoms, privileges. And when we look at other cemeteries, and we put it beside this cemetery, it put this one to a shame. So it is as if the people here are a lesser people. And we were all created equal in the sight of God. So I am going to call on the authorities to make sure that before we get to National Heroes Day in October, this place is restored to some pristine semblance of dignity and pride. Blessed thank, love. Thank you very much. Uh, that was well said by Brother Racy Mattress. But of course, Paul, you know, I know your pain because not just one family member is over here, but you have four two brothers, three brothers, and your mom. So that pain, I can see it as soon as you drove through the gates of the cemetery, your whole persona changed, your whole smiling face changed, and you, you're looking like this. I mean, I know you're hurt. So what else do you have to say in part in part? Watch your mom gone down. You have to lift her up, put her in a truck back. With, 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 with no dignity from the state, with even a reputable institution where we would have called a funeral home to take her to the funeral home. I'd have to put her in a truck back to take her to the hospital when she was gone down. Likewise, my two brothers. And to find solidarity within myself, I take them to a national place here in Jamaica. I'm a homegrown, homebred of Western Kingston. And this 
is the place that my mom says she would like to be rest. She would like to rest when she trod out her flesh. Even myself was saying when I, that day come and I should have trod out her flesh, I would like to be in this magic city called Kingston. But right now it's all about Kingston. Kill some and leave some without dignity. See, even if you rest him and you think that you pay for the spot for your loved one to rest, they are not resting in dignity. And we need to restore that moral values, that self-motivation, that self-esteem, that self-reliance, motivation, spirit that Marcus Yahweh taught us. We need to get back in ourselves as black people. We need to get back in ourselves. This is not a place for not even the dog that pissed and bubble and wall to be resting right at this present moment. Because it is tearing I and I apart. This is so much of my brothers and sisters and loved ones of African descent treated like animal. Their the remains scatter all over the Maypin Cemetery. All of those graves digged and rubs and tombs been sold and the same spot that you may bury your brothers and sisters and someone else get that same spot to bury and as soon as you left the cemetery and it is not a good sight we need to get back to self-esteem here in jamaica there you have it ladies and gentlemen you have heard the voice of honorable racing matches and also the voice of legendary reggae artist paul the chosen one elliot as he speaks of the plight that is really uh, going through with the Jamaican people, how they're suffering. Even with their loved ones, their loved ones cannot rest in peace. The saga continues as we dig deeper into the mystery of the missing graves, the missing, the missing caskets, the missing body of the Maypen Cemetery. <laughs>